All right, we will call to order the June 10th meeting of the Royal for Select Board. The first order of business, the approval of minutes for June 3rd. I will abstain because I wasn't. Okay, so by consensus, they will have been adopted. Community input. You want to come on up? You're here for. Are you here to watch or? I, yeah. Oh, that's your welcome. Like, what? What? <laughs> Most people don't, so. Any other that's you hear me. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Sure, come on up. I have a purchase order you, for rec. Do you want it now or under the rec part of the budget, or the agenda? Um, do you want it, you want it done under rec? I don't care. Okay. I, well, are you going to stay? I'm going to stay. Oh, well, we'll do it under rec. Chief, come on up. Then. Good evening, welcome back. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> I asked for one item. First number 1685 to the Whitewater Car Wash for six months of washing our vehicles from June 1st until uh, December 1st for $576. Now we'll come out of our fuel line item. Alright, I'll move purchase order 1685 to Whitewater Car Wash. Five hundred seventy-six dollars for a half a year of car washes. Second. All right. Purchase order sixteen eighty-five. Do I move to second? Do you have any discussion? I think you just did one. December. Time <laughs> flies when we're having <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll do it yeah. This is this is half of that budget line item. Yeah. So this will get us through the end of the year then. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, uh, say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Thanks for you. Any others? That's all that I have for you. Anything for me? We have um, personnel that we need to discuss. Okay. Do we have anything else for the chief? Okay. In public session? Mm -hmm. All right. We need a motion to go on a non public session to deal with the personnel issue. I'll make a motion. We've got a non-public second personnel. Okay, we'll do a roll call. Denise, yes. Miles, yes. Mike, yes, we are a non-public session. Yeah, hopefully. Right. We don't have the camera with that. We're back. All right. Any other department here to speak in? No. They may come. Oh, I know um, George was is not available this evening. Um, he already reached out to us, so um, we have a couple of POs in one of the folders that I can explain. We have to do it right now. We're at the end of the night, I'll be able to explain it. Maybe if not, Caroline definitely can. Uh, we're going to hold welfare till the end because we have to go to non for so that. It didn't seem like we wanted to make you get up and come back and get up again. So uh, we will start with town administration, space needs committee draft charge, shared facilities director. So there's no update about the Shared Facilities Director. Tom okay. Clark will share the day with Mr. Fortier when he comes to spend the day okay. at some point once school gets out. All right, so we'll hold That's off. Placeholder. Placeholder, perfect. Police consultant? Um, I have reached out to get a contract and a time frame for the board's consideration and have not heard back, so I will okay. follow up about that, but okay. no news at this point. Okay, you guys, did you guys take any action? I probably should notice by the minutes. Any action last week? On this? Yeah. No. Okay. Just to, no. Just, to, just to see if you can get an update from them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was true. So we will uh, table that as well then. Unless there's something anyone wants to say. Nope. Eversource proposal. We have the proposal? Not the proposal specific to our project, but template language, template which language. was supposed to be enough to have DRA re review as DRA suggested they would. Now that I have that language, DRA says no, they don't want to comment on it. And so, um, if we could you have back weeks ago, instead of doing what they told us to do. Right. Nonetheless, at least you got back to me right away with <laughs> well, that, that was nice for yes. Okay, so so, so we, we were told a couple weeks ago, three or four weeks ago now, from the municipal association that and DRA that there are some towns that uh, feel that they have the authority. And some towns feel they have to go through the town meeting process. And they've seen it both ways. Right. Both of them. So, um, do either of you have uh, an opinion as to how you'd like to proceed? Or do you even want to proceed? And this is because it's going to be 
a so-called loan, so to say, right? Because it is technically a multi-year multi contract. contract. That's why you might want to wait and put it in a warrant article. But at the same time, since it doesn't obligate the town outside of what is already in the oper operating budget for right. budgeted operational utility expenses, you can cover it anyway. So you're not like... You don't have to anticipate some kind of balloon payment or contingency right. scenario, which is why you could theoretically do it now out of the operating budget. So, um, <coughs> if we don't, the rates are going up in the fall. So then we're going to be paying more if we um, don't. And that's a clarifying point that we still, I need to make a note about and figure out. If, if we do this, are we still subject to that rate change and, and does that pay off the loan faster or is it just part of... Because um, we're going to maintain the rate until the loan is Hey, right. two to ten and a half years. Even if it goes down, we're going to pay that full rate until the loan is pay paid. Our loan, our loan payments, I would say. Okay. Yes. Either way, you're paying. You're paying a higher amount. rate. But you're saying or but, the same amount you're paying. But or if, that, you, or if, if you amount. if we retrofit under their proposal in two of it, was it two two and a half years, or was the return on investment depending on the depending on the facility, you're going to enjoy lower rates at the end of that. Because mm -hmm. either way, you're going to pay. The rate you're paying now, whatever you're budgeted, you're paying it this year. You're going to pay it next year, anyways. So if you don't do anything, there's also the, the possibility of paying a lump sum to them and not to do the loan, right? Either for a specific Small facility or for all of them. You can do right, that like for, like the street lights, which would be well. Huge, that, right? that would well. So it depends. I'm not sure if, you know, we haven't seen a streetlight proposal yet, yeah. so I don't know if that operates in a different way and what the cost would be okay. for that, but okay. the fire station and transfer station being smaller facilities in right. terms of this project, it yeah. was only something like $1,000 or $1,500 right. out we of market to get that going. Yeah, so we yeah. could actually do those sooner and then maybe take this place to a, a Warren article or something. I would suggest going one way or the other with the whole thing, for simplicity. Because the principle is still the same. That, so, 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 you can either decide that because DRA and Municipal Association have seen it either way, that you can do it either way, mm -hmm. regardless of the facility. Or you can decide that you're not comfortable with being in the gray and get it an opinion from town council. But for the sake for the sake of the administration of it all, you know, it, it either works to do it this way or it works to do it that way, however you But if you determine. if you determine to pay the fire station the let's say the fire station transfer station out of pocket in full, then you can start enjoying the, the lower the the, the <laughs> lower amount because you, you yeah, yeah. So then you're saving money. Right? I don't disagree, and you know you have the money in the operating budget that you could do that since that's not a lot of money it's for those lot, two right. facilities. It's much more for this facility, but you could. So, are you saying that you are not comfortable then with doing this in the operating budget as the loan program over two and two and a half years? I'm just saying, two and two and a half years, we're going to be paying a higher rate for one, right? Well, we're going to pay the higher rate, but our usage is going to be lower because we've been... Right, but we're going to pay that same rate. We're going to, say, so we're going to pay the same rate, but we should be not exactly. having an, a, an increase because we are also, we're also should be saving based on what the project's going to do and reduce our cost because it's more efficient. Well, that's certainly true of those two smaller facilities if you pay out of pocket yeah. rather than utilize the loan program. For them. Right. And then for the bigger building... We can go through the loan program, and, and in two and a half, and in two and a half years, you're going to see the savings. Yes. Because you're going to pay. You're, you're, well, you're going to see the savings off. anyways, aren't you? Yes. On the big building. Well, yes. not until no. two and a half years. So they're going to, even though we're but using less electricity, but they're still going to charge us the same, right. like, base amount. You're going to pay the same rate, money. whatever the rate is, for two and a half years, and that extra amount above what would be your bill at the lower rate, yeah. that difference is paying off the Oh, I see all, what all you're all saying. All okay, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in two and a half years, then you get the savings. 
I'm it. not uncomfortable in, at least going with the fire station and the highway department because it's small enough. Um, I would be uncomfortable about doing this one right without bringing it to the town because this is much bigger. That's. Um, and the street lighting would be huge. I too. think the street lighting has to be off the table at the moment because it's yeah. a, such a, a that, larger yeah. project. Yeah. One, you don't have the proposal, but it's also going to be much more expensive. Yeah. But you're going to pay the same amount of money in this building, whether you. you Go with the with the, with the plan of our line by ever source of retrofitting. You don't. So, I think in two and a half a year you're going to be saving money. Mm -hmm. um, if you say yes, if but you you're just yes. going to be paying the same rates I mean, uh, if it doesn't pass. Or you and it's just, it's what now? It's going to be it's June now. Yeah. We, we still have we haven't informed the 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 space needs committee. Reformed it formally to start looking at what to do with uh, the police department and this building. So. You so may, next year is not going to be it's gonna be pretty much off the table with anything changing in this building. So it's not like you're going to be making those changes for, 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 for nothing. And you're still going to be in, by the time the, the two and a half years are over, you're still going to be here, I think. But if we had the building person coming in and saying, these are some of the things that you could start to work on, see, you're not, you don't have to wait two and a half years to do work here. You, if anything, right. you're going to do it much smaller ways of making this building better it, by like painting the hallway that you first come in. You know, I mean, those are the things that you can still do and have that thing in the budget. So you're not really right. referring at all. I'm not fine. Well, I thought you said that no, I saying, nothing's going to go in the building. I would say if some, people, if some people are concerned about investing in this building because it may be mothballed in a few years, I'm not saying it will be, but if it is, you're still going to enjoy those savings by the time you get around to that because you're not going to be in a position to be ready to build a new facility before that, I don't believe. If, if the timeline this year is any indication, I don't think it, I mean, it's, I, I don't know if you'd be ready. So, I mean, so I'm just, if people are concerned about that, I think that, that should be taken off the table. I don't think you should be concerned. I'm not saying you are personally mm -hmm. If folks are concerned about it, it you shouldn't be yet because... Yes. I think you're still gonna you're still gonna enjoy the savings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the other thing to think about is the status of <coughs> the loan program and the funding of the loan program, right. and is that still gonna be available if you wait? So what do we have to do to bring them back in and get? Do we have a contract or we have a? Pro we have a proposal, and I think if you all wanted to go forward, then maybe they would get us a contract. Okay. I'm hopeful. We have three separate contracts, uh, three separate proposals, right? There, there was one for each of the buildings. Yes. Yeah. Um, four, because you've got transfer and highway. And then highway, yeah. Um, yes, so I think you can combine them all or combine any combination of them and put any combination of them into a contract. Do you feel, as the business, uh, as the administrator, that we should go through legal and get it blessed? Our legal, just because you you can't get them to give us a yes or no answer. I would be comfortable going through the operating budget now. I don't. I'm not concerned about it because I think DRA and and the municipal association would have raised flags with it and said from the beginning, we just suggest that you consult town council because they would do that. So where some communities have done it and other, you know, this way and some have done it that way, mm -hmm. I think that gives us liberty. Um, it would be hard to, you know, there's clearly not case law to say you don't do it this way or that way. Mm -hmm. And when Eversource came in, there were how many? There were only a handful of communities that haven't taken advantage of this program. That's true. I mean, like less than on one hand, I thought. Mm -hmm. right? So yes, we happen to be one of them. Yes. So if you can find a way, and look, I've got after tonight, I got three more. <laughs> right. So it's easy for me to say just do it, but you're going to be saving money in the long run. I mean, you're going to be saving immediately um, once it gets to the retrofit of the highway transfer and um, fire station. Or, there was only 
two rights of fire and transfer, maybe? Those are the two small Those are the smaller ones, yes. So you can enjoy savings right away, then. If we pay. And you, and you can, pay for we can find it in the budget mm -hmm. for this year. Thank goodness, because of insurance, the changes. We can, we, can, we can find it. So you're going to be enjoying savings right away. If you can find a way to save save money uh, in the long run, I, I think it'd be foolish not to do it. But. And that would help budgeting next year because you're not waiting for the two years. You've got the lesser rate for next year's budget on those facilities. For those facilities, and, and you know that you have to pay. If we can, if we can just defer for one more week, and the reason I want to, I'm saying this is because I want to get confirmed by public service that we can have two different rates within the town. That we can do some and not others? Well, so that we, we can do two buildings and, and, and have the savings, even though maybe another building is not going to be done or it's going to be done through the loan program. So I just want to get it confirmed that I we can... I can confirm that for you, but every facility has its own bill. So I, I'm... I'm fine with waiting. Is the account number the yeah. same account number, but each? No, they're they all have their own different account numbers. They shouldn't have a problem. With I wouldn't think. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. But I mean, it doesn't hurt just add. It doesn't. You know what? The other thing is, if much. there's a general consensus that you want to get to the next step, then I'll get a contract and. Mm -hmm. Yep. And okay. That work, and then we can vote on it officially as soon as it happens. Okay. Because I imagine each building is going to have its own contract. I would assume. Why don't we have them just write it that way, and that way yeah. you can take them up individually, and that might make I you think all that's feel better. Really, I think that's a really good idea. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Are we good with the uh, Eversource proposal conversation? So you never did get a proposal on the street? Is that true? Not yet. That is true. I have not yet. Okay. But and I'm not sure why that's... Maybe next year. So for, well, if a similar proposal or, or a program exists in street lights, I would, I mean, I would, I would, I would you you urge you to do that. Can you get budget. something for, on email about the street lights? Only conversations, only looking right. for bills and getting bills so that they could formulate the proposal, right. but oh, not okay. the proposal itself. Okay, all right. I mean, if you can, if, if we can figure out a way to do that, I mean, we spend a, a, a obscene amount of money every year on, on street lights, so if you can figure out a way yeah. next year's budget to. Oh, bring that down, that would be very helpful. Did I see the fire chief sneak in? Come on up. Yeah, I snuck in. It's easy in the summertime. <laughs> First one, just one purchase order that I have. It's to uh, Fire Tech and Safety, and it is for our SCBA testing functional test of our SCBA for NIOSH and NFPA standards. So they came in, they run through all the packs, our uh, 14 packs that the fire department owns. They do the functionality test of all the different uh, capabilities of the pack. They replaced quite a few pieces. It's all in the warranty because they're under warranty for 15 years. So that filled under that. But to get all our packs tested to meet the standards is done on a three year cycle. Uh, we passed with all of them. All our packs are right where they should be. So it was a total of uh, $819 to fire tech and C. All right. <coughs> What's the number? Um, we'll purchase order 1615 to fire tech and safety of New England. $819 for functional tests for the SCB8. Second. All right. Purchase order 1615 has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Sixteen fifteen, and the amount is eight hundred nineteen dollars. And I will hand it to you anyway. So I'm going to go back here. Yeah, it moves all around. Right. The other part of the end, a couple of things I just let you do now. I've got an updated, much better copy of the. Uh, so we're going to play the other one. This is the, the latest and greatest one with everything out there. Okay. okay. And the next thing that I have is it going to cost you any money? Matter of fact, um, we have been awarded a grant, a Homeland Security grant to the state. Um, basically, it was a, it's a statewide thing. Fire departments that were uh, had the needs 
apply for it, and basically any, actually the timing couldn't be any better, it's reprogramming of radios. Yep. Okay. And since we're about to purchase $60,000 worth of radio equipment, mm -hmm. which is going to need reprogramming, which we would have had to done through two-way, mm -hmm. and or AJ does some of our in-house stuff, we uh, applied for the grant, we were accepted, and this is the paperwork that I have here, and I need probably your signature on it. One of the authorities, whoever's pointing at who, it's not me. <laughs> the authority, apparently. So it's going to be point yourself. <laughs> All right. Right there on page five, underneath the signature part, the date, and all that, that will be you. Is there any objection to me signing the acceptance of this grant? No. None. So what does this obligate us to do, Mark? It doesn't obligate us. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to submit all this paperwork. And it's going to allow us when we come for our radio reprogramming meetings. They're going to watch. Basically, we'll call our vendor, which yep. would be two way anyway. Mm -hmm. And instead of the bills and whatnot coming to us, it turns so out there's no, no, there's nothing, nothing that, that we have to put up. Okay. Come. And our rope and our, with all the radio equipment that we get coming out, our reprogramming is going to be just look at the rough numbers, it's three or four thousand dollars that this grant is going to take care of that we're not going to have to be responsible for. So it's going to do all of the reprogramming that you needed? And you yeah, if I can 100%. slide, 100%. Awesome. If I can slide something else in there, I'll slide anything I can find <laughs> that needs to be reprogrammed. So we're but basically you're signing an MO, an MOA, memorandum of agreement. This will be submitted to the state. Is the rest of the page. I'm going to get you a copy of all this stuff. If you wouldn't mind, could you email it to me? Yeah. Or, or scan that whole thing and send it to me? Either way, because this is all all the associated paperwork mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. I still have mm -hmm. the label and all, you know, all the paints and yellow stuff and everything. Thank but as has kind of a timestamp, it has to be by Thursday. They told us today that we have it and all it has to be done by Thursday. Mm -hmm. So they have all the paperwork in hand, you know, kind of a typical state yeah. kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to take this back. You want me to send, have it forward to you for right now? Okay, because we go to the station and I'll, All right. I'll have it sent off to you. Thank you. The rest of this we're going to take care of tonight. Thank you for finding it. Well, this stuff comes around and we have a chance to get it. And it's it's wonderful. wonderful. Jump in there on it. And um, basically they, they had capped out like 25 different fire departments and I know that uh, there was more than that that applied. We managed to be one of the ones that great. received the award. So and how much was it again? 10000 you said? For our needs, it's going to be roughly three to four thousand dollars for our program. For our program, you guys. Saved us four thousand dollars. Thank you. Try. Appreciate Try to it. do our best. That's your copy. My copy. You want the rest of this? There's some other couple of things in here for you. The invoice for that. Okay. And there's a couple of small ones. Right. The payroll. Thank you. Okay. Anything else for the fire? Anything else for us, sir? Um. Sixty-five. Just update. Yeah. We did the CPR. First responder thing the other day on Saturday for the rec department. Right. It was supposed to be eight, only five showed up. Mm -hmm. so that's not our issue. Right. Um, I don't know how that affects them being able to perform well, what they, they need to do. I know one wasn't going to be there as a boss that had some sort of commitment. The yeah. others did not show up, but they all took the class and passed and so they all received their, okay. their certificates and whatnot. But okay. we did that on Saturday morning from 9 to 11. Yep. We, we took care of that for. I went by a couple of times. There were a bunch of cars, but I don't think there were all of them. I think it, we had a ball game over there, so I didn't know how many showed up. Five. Five showed Five up. was the number that we put through the program. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, doing that. Need the basic first aid as well. Basic first aid and, and CPR. CPR. We, all, we all got certified in that. Yeah. Okay. So they're all set. How are they to do that for the programs? How long does that, how long is, um, before it expires? Two years. Yeah, two years, okay. For a CPR card. Okay. And that's just kind of a standard thing because mm -hmm. they change the standards so much. Mm -hmm. You can learn one way in two years and completely change it. Whereas before it was, you know, do 15 and two, 15 compressions, a couple of breaths, we don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. They just remember staying alive in your head and that's all you do with that pace, staying alive, staying alive, and then just don't do that. <laughs> that's what you do now. You, it's more about circulation than it is about respiration. Yeah, you don't, you don't do the mouth thing anymore, right? Not as really? much as you used to. Yeah. No, yeah. no more. You just want more to circulate. Don't worry about the oxygen adjacent. The oxygen adjacent so much, it's about just getting blood flow. So that's what they do now. That's how it's taught. Did Sean keep a list of the people who were there? We have, we have a roster to stay. Can you make me a copy of and buy and get it later? Yep. Thank you. Yep. Anything else for you? Yep. Fire ponds. 
Yes, sir. It's on the list. Yes, sir. Um, I'm assuming you're all going to start talking about the budget <laughs> July-ish. Yeah. So the time has finally come to really think about it. <laughs> We've kept it on here for months so we wouldn't forget about it. Yep. Yeah, it's um, kind of been a place mark. And, and so if there are about. ones that you think need attention for this coming year. Well, we discussed before, it wasn't it was more to uh, install new ones is what we were going to do. Okay. I think that was more of the method to put them at the down at the down at the boat launch down yeah. the right, right, right. Engine, and the one at the upper end of the above the hydro beam have one on either side. Right. It would just be so much easier. And those sources were always gonna have water. So, so maybe uh, looking to see how much it's gonna cost to install. Yeah, I've done some digging and I and haven't really got a firm number back, but we'll uh, I'll put that I'm assuming it'll rise to the capital item. Maybe ten grand probably, huh? To install three of them? Yeah. Maybe not. I don't think it would be that much. Well, better. I don't think so. So do we have to get permission from the landowners to do that? Is that region land or is that town land? Down by the boat launch, right? Are you talking the which boat launch? The boat launch um, on the foundry? Boundary. That's ours. Okay. But only the boat launch and the right of way. And anything outside of that is mm -hmm. anything um, to the left of that is the legion. So it depends where we would put it. It would be a lot simpler to keep it on town land. If you put it outside of town land, then we're going to need an oh, easement. Well, we would keep it tucked like right around that, that area around the boat launch. Where it needs to be. That's where we put the trucks all the time anyway. Mm -hmm. To the right would be better. Yep, to the yeah. right. That would be fine. Yeah. And what about fine. the, what it, where, what's the other one you said? The upper side of the hydro beam. Yeah. Or the other boat launch. Yep, yeah, that's, that's ours. Okay, all right. Two for two, yeah. 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 All right. Good. Alright, I'll try to confirm some numbers and then we'll do some kicking around when the time comes. Anything else? Nope. Alright, well, thank you, Mark. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. Alright. Recreation. I understand we have some space issues. We do. We were advised that um, we can't have the school after August 1st. So I sent a letter to the school board and I'm on the agenda for the school board meeting Thursday to plead our case. It's like I'm surprised that they did that. Um, we've had a we've had a room at the school for over 40 years that I know of. So and it was confirmed by Mr. Hartford this year, wasn't it? I wasn't the person who discussed it with him, so I'm not sure he actually blessed it 100%, but that was our uh, just tell us two weeks before the program's going to start. That's why Isn't I went helpful. to the board. Yeah. Um, and I copied him on and took my letter, so oh, I'm going to make sure he was aware of it. So um, at this point, um, I don't have anything, but I, sh I would think that I should know something. Are they, after this the, you know, the gym floor is supposed to be replaced this year? Do they think they're really going to get to it? I don't know. I mean, if the gym floor doesn't get done, we have access to the gym. So, so but be. if it does get done, nobody can go on the gym. So, and we understood that, and yeah. we knew that going forward, um, because it, it, nobody can walk on it for weeks, I right. guess. I just heard some rumblings that it might not happen this summer. Well, if so, you got somebody to do it, yeah. Well, the chances yeah, so, are it's not. But So you, it may not be an issue. It may not, but we just need to make sure that we get that. I have not signed the building use form yet because right. I'm not going to sign it. And then they say, well, you located it right. with August 1st. So right. I've not signed it. Um, so handling. I'm going to go and talk to them on Thursday. Grants. That's yeah, yeah. Grants. Come on up. Oh, I don't have any grants this week. Then don't come on. Have you heard anything on your grants? We're talking about grants. I have not. Uh, two grants were submitted last week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one to Optima Savings Bank. They will let us know June 15th, which is Saturday. Okay. Um, and I believe they only will notify us if we get it. And Cumberland Farms we submitted last week, too. Yeah. And I'm not sure if we will be notified or not. Well, we can the same shape. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Oh, did you um, did you check with Dix to see if you can use all your coupons on one item or? Is I it... have not gotten that far. I have um, t-shirts were thrown in my lap on Friday because they have not been ordered. <laughs> <laughs> and camp is two weeks away. Did C and J? Uh, C and J. They got our email and they have not responded yet. 
So I they did respond once asking a question. Right. Okay. And I sent a follow up email to them saying we would like seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's part of the reason the t shirts are late. Um for the backs of the shirts mm -hmm. and um you could give us another seven hundred and fifty dollars for activities which would match what you gave us last year in a donation because they gave us fifteen hundred dollars mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um and I've not heard back from Bridget mm -hmm. on their decision. But I proposed to the committee chairs that we go ahead, order the shirts with their logos on them um, for this year. They have sponsored the t-shirts. Only because you don't years. have much more time to do Right. So. And I talked to the printer on Friday, and he said he needs two weeks mm -hmm. to get them. And we need them for staff. And we've. The chairs and I also went back and forth with the returning staff. There'll be four returning staff will be asked to wear their old shirts until they get their new shirts and maybe to share with any other staff that they could. So this is to Seacoast Printing, the vendor we've used in the past. It's got a range of prices. I went back and I looked at the invoices from the last two years. Um, and last year the staff shirts were eight hundred or eight dollars and fifty cents per shirt, and this year and the year before they were six fifty, and I don't know if it was the style of the shirt or that it had more printing on it. So, so what are you asking for? I don't know if you want to go with the upper range, which would be a max of eight forty five to eight fifty, or if you want to go with the lower number. 36, how many do you give the staff? Three. You give them three each. Okay. And how many do you give the camper? One. One. Okay. And previous, the previous two years, we've ordered 170, roughly, mm -hmm. for Camp Raleigh. And this year, we still have quite a few in inventory. Um, so we're dropping it down to 75 or so. Here. Yeah, okay. and I've got it all broken down based on the registrations received so far on what sizes we need. We're not reordering sizes where we have abundance or we haven't seen people. And then um, last year it was more because we also ordered teen camp shirts. We had thought we were going to give them three shirts each. We only ended up giving them one shirt, mm -hmm. so we still have like 30 or so team camp shirts, so we will not be ordering this. Okay. So I would say to make it at the lower end is seven fifty. Seven forty six. Seven forty six. And then the upper end is eight forty two. So Did you put money in the was that part of your tuition to to cover the cost of a T shirt? It's part of the registration fee, of the $50 registration fee. And that's why one family gets a shirt for free. Mm -hmm. But if you register more than one child, or you request a second shirt, that it costs you $7. Okay. So we have this money. And how many registrations do we have? I don't, I don't know. Do you know how many registrations there? I do not know. I did see though that the chair person of the committee extended registrations on Friday. That. Yeah. So I don't know. As of, I know we have ten teen campers as of now, yeah. um, and another one came in today requesting information, and then we had. Um, she gave. The person receiving registrations gave me shirt sizes for the 45 we had have registered as of last week. How much did it cost for time to camp? Um, full summer or just full summer? Yeah, so the higher number to is 76, it seems, but is that right? No, my number is 842. How much does it cost for you to go to camp for, um, for the summer? For the full summer, one camper is 350 plus a $50 registration fee, so it's $400. And you already got how many kids signed up? 40 something, you said? Yeah. 
So you have enough money to cover the 850 then? Yeah. Okay, why don't we, why don't we go with a higher number? We have enough money to cover what? You have enough to pay for the up to 850 then. Just to, with the Camp Raleigh. Well, I know that there's a lot of other expenses that goes to that that, right. that, that we have but, to take. But all these kids need to have T-shirts that are yeah. that are signed up, right? So yeah, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not opposed to numbers, but that's that money is used for all of the field trips too. So, to make sure you have the money for that too. So, so we're just we're just waiting for for the grant to come in from uh, CNJ. If, yeah, and if the, if it doesn't come in from CNJ then all the parents should have paid for their shirt in the registration fee. And, yeah, this does take into account the ones that are in inventory already. Yeah. Um, so we're getting 36 staff and 76 camper okay. in various sizes. Yes. Okay. I'll move purchase order 1639 to Seacoast Printing for 36 staff t-shirts and 76 camper t-shirts with a total not to exceed $850. I'll second that. It's going to hit recreation supplies. Any other discussion? Send down all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. I shall be back next week with, with a check from C and J, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I am not sure. Okay. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Anything else to sit for the for recreation? Not this evening. Good? They are meeting tomorrow night, so hopefully next week I'll have more information. Good okay, thank you. Building permit schedule fees. Do we have any thoughts on this? We talked about it a couple weeks ago. Tom was going to come in and is Tom coming in? We're going to get Tom in and talk about it. Great. So when Tom comes in, let's have him come in next week. Because I'd like to talk about uh, past um, towing yes. and yes. Uh, junkyard. So the, sure. So They're um, operating without a permit still. We have not approved their permit for this year. They haven't gone back to the planning board, as the ZBA told them. They've so, had months to do it. So, so I'm not in the mood to be issuing a permit. So now finally all of his materials are with the um, firm that he hired to represent him with planning uh -huh. so it's out of you know it, it took him a while to get to that point but now Months. um it's in his in, the, in his professional's hands okay. um, and so i would think that we should be hearing soon about planning but i was talking you about can let, why don't you let him know that he's not on the agenda for the july meeting of the planning board that i'm not signing a permit for him. He okay. won't be operating a business in this town anymore. How's that? Maybe okay. that, that'll and give him some well, so fire to come in and actually take care of it. I, he's I had think months. he's well. He has had months at this point. There's nothing else. He's he not in compliance with any of the any of the uh, any of the conditions for his junkyard. So that's the separate issue. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about towing. I'm towing is separate. I'm talking about his junkyard. He's not in compliance, so he's had almost a year. He's supposed to have been applying for a new permit already to go into effect for June, right? For for 20, uh, 2019 into 2020? Yes, and he has things he needs to work on with that as well. Has so he submitted an application? No. Okay, well then you should let him know that he's, he needs to get down here. And he better have that place cleaned up. You don't think he's cleaned up his front? I, it's I, see, I, have. I think he's. I think he's improved the, the visual part of the front of the business where the towing was. There, are, he has made some improvements. Yes. But there are 17 conditions to that annual license that he holds. One of which is keeping the front area seated. Okay, no it's not grass. seated, but it's definitely improved. It's not um, seated. And he sure. did mention he was going to replace the fence. Uh -huh. So he has some. I've been on this board for five and a half years. He's been replacing that fence for five and a half years. <laughs> I'm just done. That's my parting gift to the town. Okay, we just have to make sure that we are. Of course, you'll be sued, I'll be in Hopkinton, but 
So we just have to make sure that we are in the forwarding address. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Too. Using legal process yeah, okay. and not I, I, always. Yeah. Clearly, I'm, yeah. I'm just very frustrated with I this gentleman. That. I mean, it's a mud pit out front. It's supposed to be grass there. I, 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 he's been operating this place. I don't know when. When Mr. Day left us, it's been a long time. Okay. <laughs> it's been ten years. Yeah. Right. So. There hasn't been grass there since. It just hasn't. So and that's one of the biggest conditions. So this is conditions put on to him by the by the town. Because no, by the town. These are conditions of his annual license with the town, which because is it's a, separate it's a, from the planning towing issue. Chicky Day had an exemption from zoning, mm -hmm. and the, the it carried over with the new owner apparently. One way or another, I don't know why, but it did. I'm sure it would legally, but um, he has not met those conditions, he, you know, so, I mean, enough is enough. I mean, I don't know how many more complaints we need to receive. It's just, it's, it's tiresome. If I can solve that in Clement Road in three weeks. Oh, Clement Road, that's ambitious for <laughs> Clement Road is never going to happen. It's going to be your problem, I'm sorry. I wanted to. Every year okay. I said I wanted to do it and it got pushed off. So. so we'll have Mr. Clark join us next week. That'd be awesome. So I can yell at Tom. Mm -hmm. I don't know him and I like Tom a lot. So. But he needs to light a fire there because time's time uh, taken away for Mr. Cassiano. All right. Policy review. We have the. Um, what did I miss? Oh, he. How could I forget the most important thing on the agenda? Apparently someone's moving, so uh, the town administrator has suggested, and I saw on Facebook and on email, that we're having a farewell celebration at the library. I think that's okay. A secret. Well, <laughs> it's in my inbox, so it's uh, not much of a secret. I'm sorry. I appreciate it, thank you. And I appreciate the wanting it to be a secret, but no, I'm for a town of 2,600, there are no secrets. Uh, well. <laughs> um, so as Caroline has suggested, the library, are folks okay with that? And then having them, sorry, in my mind I'd already said it, and then having the meeting they continue right afterwards. Afterwards, in their conference room. Right? So I didn't be? make that part of the announcement because I wanted, we did not discuss that, so I just wanted to make sure that you all were okay it with that. It seems to make sense because we'd yeah. have, we'd have we to slow back their, up um, we can use their um, community room and set that up for a meeting, and then mm -hmm. you're all already there. Mm -hmm. It would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm fine with so that. So, do you want to set a meeting time of of what, or just immediately Six following, I think or we should be done? I mean, how many are If there's still a line of people at six thirty, but they can come and watch the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They can come with the the um, community um, input stuff. Right. <laughs> Okay, thank Fine. you for that. I will post so, that. what time will So, it will be at 6 30 at the library, the meeting. But and the, what time is this party starting? 5 30. I think we need to be. Don't let the door hour. hit you on the way out. So I, it's let, can we go to 7? Because I think you have to definitely go. Really? What if we say. Mike, right, they're just knocking on the door saying, What if we say immediately the following? And then we're not tied to. Well, they're burning me in effigy at 6 30. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I mean. Seven it is. Okay, seven it is. Seven it is. And he says seven, she's going to be in charge soon, so she says it. We're going to do it. All right. All right. All right. And if everyone's gone, we can start it. We can't. Because you're yeah, saying that's why I think Between 6.30 and 7? Immediately Well, that, that's when you say following. immediately yeah. following. Sure. Okay. Because otherwise we might sit there and just sit down. It'll fall. That's actually fun. That'd be nice, too. All right. All so, right. well, thank you for... For my surprise. <laughs> it was not a surprise. I mean, how could it be? I mean, we, 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 we Facebook and, and um, emails, how we, we, we live these days, so how could you not? So I got to block me from, you know, anyway, we so. can't, we cannot it is what it is. I do appreciate it, Caroline. Thank you. Can I ask a reconsideration to go back up to police? Police? Before we go any further down. Under police? Well, non public? No, I don't want to go non public. Well, no, I just, I, I have a suggestion. I think that we need to talk about the gun range. Oh, you want, okay, that's fine. I, I just want I younger see. police. I, 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 I think you want to reconsider police, like, the non-public session. No, no, no. <laughs> um, 
I think we need to talk about the gun range and the yes. times in, of days and um, weekends and stuff that is being used. And I don't yeah. know whose responsibility is it, if it's the Board of Selectments or if it's the Police Departments, but I think it's gotten much more than it originally was intended for. Yeah. And I understand that because, um, you know, we have, we have someone who's on the SWAT team in our, in our department and they would like to train together and it's convenient. I get that. Um, However, we've had several complaints, um, especially in the weekends, um, and people are trying to have, you know, barbecues with their families, and you're, all you hear is gunshots. And, you know, you, you're assuming it's that, <laughs> and it probably is. But We've heard from folks on Summersworth Road. Yes. Yeah. When was Mark here? Well, Mark was, that was so, so, two or three, about a month ago. Maybe. Just, you know, I was thinking about it yesterday. Yeah. And I heard fireworks. I was like, oh, those are fireworks. Yeah, still, I did hear that too. But yeah. I was like, yeah, we should forget to mention it to I'm wondering devolve, so. if we can... You I, can. Should we do it or should Bob We should Bob have a conversation with Bob. With Bob? It, it's within the board's authority because okay. it's town-owned land. I think it warrants a conversation, but the decision lies with the board. And we, it we does. Should, we should yes. talk to him about it. All right, so can we maybe put it on next week's agenda and then ask yeah. Bob to be here? And, That's uh, a good idea. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I would feel much more comfortable talking to him. I don't want to make a decision. Whether yeah, we don't oh, absolutely it not. Is. I don't either. You know, That's why I didn't know if it was his decision and right. we didn't give him input towards it. But I think that we need to do something um, well, just to make it a, yeah. for all of our residents. I don't think we had any input before, right? Oh, yes. It was your decision. It was his idea. It, they it they were exactly. approached. They were approached. I thought they were approached after it had started because people had complained. No, I'm, I'm no. probably misremember. No, he had to ask for permission. It's town on land, okay. so any right. department can't just do what they will. With well, it's, it is the police training ground, so I, obviously our department's going to train there. Well, but at but one point or another, this board authorized it. the use of that land for that purpose, and this then board. he came back to say, we're expanding that use, or proposing to expand that, that use to the SWAT team in the county Two and these ago. other emergency organizations. It's been a few years. Yes. Right. How close is it to the transfer station? Um, it's quite close, but it's not... Um, not like there's an enormous berm, so it's not like a, a hazard close. Okay. And if I remember correctly, they're shooting. They're shooting away from, they're the, shooting away from the. But transfer if, it, station. if it hit something and it ricocheted, could it get to the I transfer don't think station? So there's a giant, okay. the, the, right. a giant uh, uh, sand berm behind you. I don't think. So you go, you're going yeah. down into you walk, something. Yeah. So you're behind. You, do, you. you walk up actually, and it's. Yeah, there's, yeah, you go down a little bit, but not too okay. much. Okay. You might. It's more. I would be more concerned, honestly, besides the noise. And I understand that. What those yeah. folks that live right over there. Yeah. I'd be more concerned with something happening down into the conservation area. To be honest with you, but. Scotland. Oh. Yeah. 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 Because there. There is also a berm on the other side of the targets too. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's just. Like oh, I'm sure it's as safe as yeah. it can be, but it just you hear stupid stories from yeah. yeah. Because. Um, this conversation comes by way of public complaint. You mm -hmm. could also hold a public hearing to hear about, you know, from the yeah. public about whether or not it's about days and times or no, whether about the premise of it at all or just that it expanded or they right. just want it to be wrong for people or just not at all or, you know, what what are the, you know, what is the extent of the complaints mm -hmm. and then that can inform your conversation with the I know when Mark was here at the meeting, what well, was like a month ago, whenever he was mm -hmm. here, when he was talking to us about something else and he mentioned it, um, he said, you know, he understood no problem whatsoever with it. The wrong is for the department using it. And, mm -hmm. and he understood with the others, but it's gotten so much now that it's, well, it's, and it's, it's all weekend. Yeah, sometimes. that's what he said. You know, like so. they have just I get all it. day long, you know, and it's, it's just, yeah. I don't know. We should just have a conversation with Bob. And I see agree. What we can do to kind of shorten it up a little bit. Or, or maybe we don't extend the invitation any longer to yeah. other towns. Yeah. I mean, so, the, so we should wait for Bob. But yeah. I'm assuming that you know we allow towns to. We don't do it for nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure there's some sort of quid pro quo. We let your department train here, and you let us borrow your uh, message board. You know, there's got to be oh, something. Sure, I'm sure you're right. So yeah. I'm assuming. So that's how they usually operate. So. 
but it helps affect the quality of life. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For yeah, sure. And, that's that's and it is, yeah. uh, clearly, because yeah. we'll be back in play. So yes, let's add it on for next week and have Bob come talk to us about it. Okay. okay. And I wish I had thought about it okay. yesterday, and I wish I had yeah. talked about it today. But you get in here and you forget. All right. Policy review. We have three in our folder, right? Yes. So my question to you is, is there any interest in reviewing them this evening before Caroline pulls them out? I see you all jumping up <laughs> saying, yes, let's review the asset management policy. Do you want to get into it tonight? Well, we have to get into it. You sometime. have to get into it eventually. It, sometime. You can also just pick one. You yeah, don't have I, to. I think one is trying to be one which is, reasonable. Which is the priority one? You said the board of selectmen policy. Well, the board of selectmen policy I chose because they're all kind of timely and, and for different reasons. So, BOS policy it is. Pull around. All right, here we go. So. Um, this is Mike's copy. Um, I, I don't know if I, I think you two, I, I can make more copies if we need more copies. I don't think I kept everybody's. Is this good with something else? Yes, that's the asset. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so the first uh, policy, or uh, rule, so this is taken from the town of Milford, New Hampshire. So their first rule is board of selectmen meeting. I would suggest you should say select board meeting, but uh, yeah. location and posting. All meetings of the town of Milford, board of selectmen, again, select board, shall be held at the Milford Town Hall, and it gives the address, unless the board uh, adjourns to another location where the meeting is scheduled for another location is properly noticed. I mean, it's all basic, I would Mm -hmm. Common sense, I would think, but it's nice to have it written down. In general, meetings of the board must have at least 24 hours notice, well, that's state law, not counting Saturdays and holidays, prior to the meeting under RSA 91A2. Notice must be either published, or, must be, okay, so we're not going to publish it in the newspaper, but it should be in two prominent public places. Right, so that there are edits to be done mm -hmm. for sure, and we can eliminate things that are in state statute, so mm -hmm. that we're not ever in conflict should the law change. I would suggest you just cross out the, the last uh, two sentences and just end it with prior um, prior to the meeting and then the reference to RSA 91 and just end it You want to just do it? Yeah. yeah. I'll take it. And clearly it should say Milford is say Rollins for town. Well, of course. Um, and it should say select. It was throughout it should say select board, not board of select. have evolved uh, ever so slightly from last year. So I like, have the next rule two is uh, the select board meeting day and time. Meetings of the town so, uh, select board shall begin at, it says 5.30, on the second and fourth Monday of each month. So, so, month. Yeah. so I guess... Unless otherwise noticed. So. If, you know, if you if you like if you want to go through each paragraph and say that you generally like the content idea of that, then I will. Or you can mix You'll the paragraph, it? then I will edit it oh. to fit what right. we do here. I'm just That's looking for more of a, you know, a value so statement I don't need around the law. Okay, perfect. Okay, rule two seems to make sense. Rule, although, I mean. It makes sense to this board, that doesn't mean that the next board well, has right. to, uh, has and to meet. It. And then they can edit it. And, right. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So rule three, obviously, clearly, all meetings are open to the public, uh, unless as provided by 91A. Um, responsibilities of members of the board. Okay, all members shall make every effort to attend each scheduled meeting of the board. Members of the board have authority only when acting as a board, legally in session. That's very true. The board shall not be bound by any action of or statement of, of any individual board member except when such statement or action is pursuant to a decision of the board. And that makes complete sense to me. And that is how we operate now. We just don't have it written down. Uh, election of officers. Procedures for electing officers are as follows. Annually, yeah, that makes sense. At the first meeting of the of the new board, 
Uh, the members shall choose among their members a chair and vice chair in addition, powers conferred upon chair. Vice chair, so I think they have the rights of Okay. The above election shall be by majority vote. That seems to make sense. Mm -hmm. Rule 6, the presiding officer. The chair of the select board shall preside at all meetings of the board uh, and be recognized as the head of the town for all ceremonial, for all those ceremonial purposes. Um, I don't know what they do in Milford, but sure. Um, what ceremonies they have, but whatever. Um, the chair of uh, board of, uh, has no regular administrative or executive duties. So oh, that we would have you need to, to cross that out. edit toward, yes. For sure, because that's not true. Uh -huh. But I can make that fit, you know. Okay. But, you know, uh, temporary absence, you know, then obviously the vice chair takes over. That makes sense. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming they have, they must have five members in Milford they because. Do. Um, in the absence of your chair and vice chair, it's going to be you, Miles, <laughs> <laughs> so you can't do anything on your own. But so we, we need to change that. But uh, the presiding order officer shall preserve order and decorum. Well, that's me up tonight. Uh, may participate in the discussion of any issue before the board. May submit reports and, le and legislation to the board for its consideration. We shall require both motion and second by other members. May speak to points of order. Okay. And it all makes sense. No selectman shall be interrupted while speaking. Well, then we've already we violated that every week. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so we're a little more laid back in Rollins for that because we don't have anything written down. So, uh, quorum, um, we need to change that. So it's uh -huh. two and not three. Uh -huh. um, selectman's agenda, select board meeting agenda. Sense. So the, the town administrator, any member of the board can add things to the agenda. Uh, matters submitted by members of the public or any town department head or official requesting an appointment with the selectman by the agenda deadline shall be included on the agenda and must be received. At that's very discretionary. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I mean, look. If, <laughs> so you can remove it. Yeah. I, I mean, we, we, remember, the public comes in and wants to talk to the select board. Right. They don't have to mm -hmm. have an, an appointment on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Right. We don't operate like that. I and mean, you could if you wanted to, but I wouldn't suggest it. Um, order of business. Okay, so this is what we do now. Yep. Uh, we have a call to order, uh, public hearings as needed. Citizens, that's what we do, and then we go to staff. That's what we do now. Public comments. Well, let's hold on. Here we closer. Public comments for items not on the agenda. Subject not on the current agenda. Any member of the public may request time to address the board of selectmen after first stating their name, address, and subject of their comments. The presiding officer may then allow the comments subject to, to such time limitations as the presiding officer deems necessary generally not to exceed five minutes. Following such comments, the presiding officer may place the matter on the current agenda or future agenda, or refer the matter to the town administrator, okay? Subject, so, and so. If you want to come talk to us, you have to tell us what you're going to talk about first. How is this different than community input? It's just much more formal. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you necessarily need to go to these lengths, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, mm -hmm. So, there's, there's a way they're allowed to talk about things that aren't on the agenda and things that are on the agenda. I mean, if the public wants to come address the select board, they should just be able to come address the select board. I don't know if you need to go to these links, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we can get rid of two and just keep three. Yeah, I would, I would <laughs> think so. Um, decisions. Consent calendar. We don't have a consent calendar. So I think we can just strike this. Consent calendar, in case you don't know, is. Um, the school had one. Did you have one yeah. at the school? Okay, so 
a bunch of stuff that you don't like to talk about, but you're right. listed on there. You're acknowledging that. that something happened, but you don't need to talk about it. But you received a letter from somebody. It might make your meeting go a lot quicker, but mm -hmm. we have not operated like that in the past. But you can keep it on your take water if you want. Yeah, I, I'd be interested in reading the, the text of this. Okay. So why don't you keep that on hold then? I mean, it's fine. It makes I, I sense. Can, there are things you could do that way. Well, and if, you know, um, we've already talked about some things that can change, I can start modifying and give you the new versions. That makes sense. Uh, status, a town status report. Okay. We already do that. That's your administrator update. Uh, discussions, board of select when used this time to talk about requests they have received. Ordinances. Okay. Uh, selection report discussion from project special boards. We do that already, but um, we do it at the end of the meeting. Approval of final minutes. We do that at the beginning. Information items requiring no decisions. All right. Uh, notices, future board selection meetings. Okay. Non-public sessions are done at the end, and then they adjourn. You want to tinker around with that so it works for you know that makes sense. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure that it's... I also thought it would be interesting for you to read the whole thing as, as this town does it, just because it's interesting to see how other people mm -hmm. do things, and mm -hmm. you can consider different ways. So I want to sell the insurance. I want those scam calls, numbers you don't know. So we have, um, then in rule 10 is the town administrator. Um, that is likely to need some edit. Yeah. There, there's, you know, everybody does that differently because every job description for a town right, 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 right. No, that makes sense. If you want to tinker with that, that would make sense. Clerk of the board. The town administrator shall be the clerk of the board. So I'm going to work. So, um, you look real sad. You look real sad, right? Um, so, obviously, if you want to keep that in there, I mean, the, the clerk of the, of the select board is, is more of an honorary title for the junior member of the board. So, I was the clerk at one point. I Denise was, was the clerk at one point. Miles was not the clerk at one point. None of us have ever taken minutes. No. So. No. But um, if you want to keep that, you can. I, don't know, you, I would think. You well, this says the town administrator. Right. It, be, it doesn't make sense no, for how we do mm -hmm. it, right? So. No. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Meetings of the board. First is the organizational meeting. Well, we already, uh, in accordance with Rule 5, we've already talked about that. That seems to make sense to me. And there's regular meetings and talks about workshop meetings. Uh, what non-public sessions mean, that makes sense. Emergency meeting, this all makes sense, actually. Uh, site walks, uh, that makes sense. Uh, and why, you know, how you would do it um, uh, under consideration of 91A. Those have to be noticed, correct? Yep. Yes. Monday forum, what is this? Fifth Monday forum. That's because they only meet the second, right. fourth, and then on the fifth. Meetings occur in a month that has five Mondays. This informal meeting allows the public to come in and speak to the select board without an appointment. Well, that's every Monday for us, so I don't think, I think you could probably skip the uh, fifth Monday form. So you'd have to wait for a month with five Mondays. Uh -huh. To just come in and talk about anything you want to. What happens in Milford? I mean, I that they had to come up with these rules. I don't know, I don't know but, uh, okay. Appointment to boards and commissions. tinker with this and how mm -hmm. how an ex officio gets appointed to the you know we do it after at our organizational meeting or the next meeting after they discuss who wants to serve on what so which is pretty much what this is so uh, procedures for now this is nice though procedure for nominating and appointing citizens to town boards commissions and committees
typically have real contentious. <laughs> we usually have to beat the bushes for people to, to, to volunteer for things. So, but I mean, this is nice. It does set out a process if there's multiple you know, candidates or multiple nominations. So it might make some tinkering, but it might make sense to have something in writing. Um, placement of select and recommendations on warrant. That's really something to think about. There's a lot of yeah. strategy and, uh, around how you would organize the warrant. And so it's a value statement about how you, you know. Interesting. You... The board shall place a recommended or not recommended notion, notation on each warrant article submitted directly to the board or submitted through petition uh, as required by RSA, blah, 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 blah. blah. The board may choose to place such notation on any warrant article, regardless of whether such action is required, unless the town has voted specifically. Well, it doesn't say specifically. The town has voted to prohibit such voluntary notations. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, we do that anyway. So, I mean, so at least it says it in writing, and that's been the practice the last several years. So right. Saying yes, we do. But we it's don't. nice that it's not up for question every right. year by a new board member. The new board member can learn to the policy. That well, that's, that's how we do it, it still here. is though. I mean, because it, um, the, the 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 board may choose or may not. We don't have to still do it. So it's pretty right. much what we're doing now. Or at least it's in writing. So right. I think that makes sense to have mm -hmm. it. Uh, duties and privileges of members. Okay. Uh, forms of address. Apparently, you're all supposed to be referring to me as Mr. Chairman. In Milford, anyways. And I'm supposed to be calling you Madam Vice Chair. And you're just the clerk, so. There's a, there's a title for me. Who is that? Selectman. Oh, select, select in England. England. I'm sorry. Select, select board members. member. Select board member. Okay. Um, Again, we're not really. Yeah. Um, but you know what? That's not to say that we. It's usually pretty easy going in this town, and it has been for a number of years, but that doesn't mean it has to stay that way. Right? Um, yeah, anyways, I think the conflict of interest and ethics policy is probably more important down here. Mm -hmm. But we do have a separate conflict of interest policy, so we do. that needs yeah. to be reviewed to make yeah. sure that it's congruent. And it should be other. incorporated in here. I mean, if it, and, and we should review that separately. You're absolutely right. It should almost just refer to it. I think it ought to refer to it so that it's not ever um, not concurrent, reviewed in one place and not the other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. I think that should, uh, yeah. So we should review it uh, against this one here. Uh, you know, it's like recusing yourself, that sort of thing. It all makes a lot of sense. Uh, and we should look at it against what we have. So not necessarily tonight, but, but I think we could probably do that. Rules of order. Okay. So Robert's Rules of Order is, is typically what select boards use. doesn't specifically say that here, but we probably should mention that. That's what we should be using. Um, so it's, it's all that we do now. Motions, one member makes a motion and has to be second, followed by a second. Um, the presiding officer shall not allow more than one main motion and second and one amending motion. I mean, that's... At any one time on the floor, that's just Robert's rules of order. But you can <coughs> specifically call it a suspension of the rules. I'm not sure yet. I'm sorry. Um, dissents and protests. We don't typically have a lot of protest votes uh, here on the select board, but you could enter your protest if you wanted to under Robert's rules of order. Um, the next section, though, on procedures for a public hearing, I think, are really important. Um, um, you know, it outlines you know how a public hearing should be conducted, and we have um, we have followed all these. We don't typically limit the amount of time that that folks have to speak, but um, uh, everything else we, we, we do. But uh, so that should be. But it's nice to have it in writing again. Okay. Voting votes during all meetings of the select board shall be transacted as follows. Presiding officer may require any questions to be submitted in writing before the vote. I'm thinking they have a lot of contentious meetings uh -huh. in, in Milford. Yeah. Um, unless, I mean, I don't like a town meeting why Charlie Putnam, the moderator, asks for things in writing. Mm -hmm. so it's easier for the record. 
and there's no confusion. That makes sense, but I wouldn't think that we'd require each of our members to come prepared to have things in writing before we can vote on them. Okay. And it's also more, um, yeah. yeah, you got five, but it yeah. could get a little bit hairier. For sure. For sure. Yeah. A roll call can be taken if, if requested. In addition, the presiding officer may, at his, sole, his or her sole discretion, require a show of hands. Again, it's, it's pretty easy to, to know it's the person sitting on either side, although I have to, I'm not going to lie. I can hear better out of this ear than that ear, so, you know, but again, it's not going to matter. So, committees, we don't have, well, we do have some committees, but we don't have uh, standing committees where we, the select board, or, oh, the select board, we have ad hoc committees, really, mostly. Um, but these are good, too, because it outlines, you know, how they should meet and how they're established. I think that could be, you know, made to look like wrongs or take off the no for references. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. so this is nice. So Rule 25, enacted ordinances slash rules, resolutions, and motions, how they're defined. I think that makes a lot of sense. That would help us um, so folks don't get confused. What's a rule? I know when we were doing the... Um, Construction on the Class 6 road mm -hmm. on Shady Lane. There was some confusion by uh, budding neighbors, applicants, all sorts of people in town uh, about what our rules were versus what the ordinances were. And, and they thought they were interchangeable, and they're not. I mean, mm -hmm. the select board adopted rules to help guide us if we wanted to move forward on the project. It doesn't mean we had to. And there was some confusion there. So this is nice. So it outlines what they mean. I think that's great. And if we could make them um, fit Rollinsford. So like the procedures for ordinances, we would need to take a closer look at this. Um, um, we, um, because of the size of our town and the way that we were established as a town, we don't, the select board doesn't have the authority to establish and amend town ordinances um, on anything um, except what's prescribed by statute. So like roads, roads public safety, things. Transfer can, station. Transfer station. Because, because the transfer station was established that way. They granted us that, that authority. But, so apparently in Milford they can do a lot more um, for ordinances. So that would be something to look at though and see if we can incorporate. That makes a lot of sense actually. Uh, public complaints. We never get those. And suggestions to the board of selectmen. Um, uh, huh. I mean, this is just common sense. So, so if a, a resident brings a complaint, the presiding officer shall determine whether the issue is a legislative or an administrative in nature, and then um, if it's legislative, then it's up to the select board to deal with it. If administrative, then the town administrator deals with it. Makes sense. That's what happens now, anyways. Or the department head deals, you know, like George will go up and fill out a pot hole or whatever. I mean, so. What's that? <laughs> yeah, um, okay, well, I can't, I, I, I'm, I have nothing to do with them, so I'm not even a customer anymore. So, Rule 29 Conduct with other board of uh, select board members and staff. Uh, the board uh, shall treat each other with respect and respect the rights and opinions of the community, despite the differences of opinion. Really, they have to put this out. <laughs> I thought it was just common sense, but anyways, this makes sense. I mean, we should we should all treat each other the way we want to be treated, for sure. Treat all staff and other elected officials as <coughs> professionals and respect their abilities and integrity of each individual. Never. Uh, Well, it makes sense. Yeah. We could incorporate this to make this, you know, to reflect raw monster. I think. I don't think you have to make many, you don't have to make any changes actually because there's no references to Milford in there at all. Just town. We seem to change select board. Board of selection. Rule thirty amendment procedure. Well, this is how you amend these rules. Okay, that makes sense. And then there's the effective date. Makes sense to me. A 
dependent, A, ethical conduct. Okay? Makes sense? We should see how this reflects, you know, looks towards our, our current policy. Officials shall not, is this? I was reading this at the very beginning, this one made me chuckle. Engage in outside interests that are not compatible with the impartial and objective performance of his or her duties. Okay. I don't know what that means. You're not allowed to... Uh, what would that be? I don't... Uh, I, I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know. I don't know. Run a company that builds town halls? Maybe, right? Or police stations or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sell trucks to, you know, the town uh, Department of Public Works, something like that. It might be about engaging in organizations which are not inclusive. That's what I was thinking. Or discriminatory. Uh, yeah. I was thinking we, about that, yeah. We might have to spell that out like, more forcefully than outside interests. That's, I mean, maybe that covers uh, a wide Daniels. range of strange So, Gary Daniels is the only person that didn't sign it. That doesn't surprise me. He's the only one that I know on the stuff board in, in Milford. He's a state senator. I think he might be a reason why they have some of these rules. <laughs> Anywho, okay. Um, well, maybe take a look at this and see if we can incorporate some make it look like Rollins. I got enough feedback that I can um, yeah. send you an edit next um, week. Awesome. I mean, some of these ethical conducts are a little inject the prestige of the office into everyday dealings with public. That's fluffy. Inject? I, I don't know what that... I'm guessing... I'm guessing they had to do this because there are members of their board that like to berate their employees, and that probably is a bad idea. Maybe not any of the people that signed this, or didn't sign this, or were a member of this board. Yeah, maybe boards that came before them. Typically, you make rules to uh, sponsor a problem, right? So I'm just thanked by Lucky Stars. I don't yes. know for it because they've had a lot of problems with being nice to each other, apparently. I don't know if they get paid in Milford, but we don't get paid enough to be nasty to each other, do we? <coughs> I don't know. I can hold it if you want. Or actually, I can destroy I it since I'm going to give you a new copy. Destroy it. Do we want to go over any others, or are we happy that we... We reviewed the board of uh, select board policy. I'm ecstatic that we right. got one off the. We have one ecstatic. Are you good? Do you want to do some more? Do you want more? Move on. We're moving on. All right. All right. So, town administration standing item board member activities. Who wants to go first? <coughs> Any sure that you've got a meeting that I've already heard about? So. Well, I have tomorrow night is the uh, training for the budget committee. Mm -hmm. Wednesday night was um, I want to go to the sewer and water district meeting, and Thursday night is help me. Okay, so, uh, school board. School, yeah, school board. board. Yes. <coughs> oh, my honor at work. Right, rec meeting tomorrow night, maybe? Right. I do, but I can't go because oh. I'm doing the budget training. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Um, I also intend to go to the budget training, um, and Wednesday there's a stormwater meeting. Um, I did set a meeting for CIP to meet Tuesday the 18th, uh, 18th um, at 6.30. Um, so we'll get that off the ground. Awesome. Yeah, i got to set up a space needs one to make sure we... Bob had gotten to pop up with me already. So okay. We'll be having one with them next month. Great. Um, Space needs. Yes, ma'am. Do we make appointments to that already? Or we must have, right? Well, so, no. Okay. Um, some people have resigned. Okay. The, the, I, so. Who's that? Well, yeah, Irving resigned. So we need to make, put a call out again Putnam for. Oh, resigned. He did. So who else is on it? It was Kim St. Clair, if she's still interested. Oh. We did not reach out to old membership to see if they would consider, like, um, consider serving again because we didn't pull out the call. They were not included in the call for volunteers because the board had not revisited the idea of what is the charge of the committee. Gotcha. Was she so the delegate she... from the uh, budget committee? No. 
Yeah. No, I think she was. A, oh, was I, that that was Bill Irving? I think it might have been. Or, or might did have, we have a? I, I don't I'm know. I'm not sure that there one, was one, okay. which is an interesting idea. Yeah, we could definitely um, put it on the agenda and uh, see if um, John would um, put it out there. Got some new members. We should email, nice send it out again. We'll blast it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so then it was, and that was it, right? It was just Kim, so just Bill, Kim and me, that, and Bob. Uh, yeah. The other two, one has moved and one has resigned. I can get in contact with Kim. Okay. Just right. see if she's still interested. Yeah. I know she's Thank you. Had left the budget committee, so I don't know if she. Yeah. Had time or where. I don't know, but we yeah. should reach out. I'll reach out. So right? so then we circle back to. Um, you received a draft charge, which was really comprehensive. Do you want to adopt that charge? Do you want to modify it? Um, what is your hope and goal with this first meeting with the Space Needs Committee? Did we not um, adopt that? I don't think. You did not so adopt it because you got distracted into the idea of the police consultant firm. Ah, yes. Because the draft. The, the draft, the, the, the charge is currently drafted is very heavy. Right. Um, it's heavy for volunteers. It's a lot of information to go see right. with not a lot of resources to go right. seek them. And so, some of those responsibilities will be taken over by the consultant. Yes. In theory. Which would modify the current draft charge. Some of those responsibilities could be handled by... So we're not in a position to adopt it tonight, though. No, but okay. we can certainly put out a call for more volunteers while you eval evaluate the charge yeah. and um, hopefully we can get a consulting firm idea moving and maybe have a conversation about mm -hmm. more specifically what kind of questions do you want answered. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea. All right. Town administrator update. So, um, we have the budget workshop tomorrow night. I will be there and then stormwater on Wednesday night. Um, this past Wednesday, I visited the transfer station. Ed and I met with um, Northeast Resource Recycling Associates, um, our new rep from that nonprofit um, that we're members of that helps us handle our recycling waste at the transfer station. Um, it was a really interesting meeting. Recycling is handled differently everywhere across the state because the vendor is available to everybody because of geography changes and every vendor has a different idea, a different price point, different locale, uh, and, and um, different requirements about how they want to receive what kind of materials. Gotcha. So um, what we learned from that is that we are recycling plastics one through seven um, without bottle caps. Um, that's okay for now. It's not likely to stay okay. Um, plastics three through seven have basically no value. So you can, so they are assuring us that they can dispose of what we currently have in stock, mm -hmm. but um, they're getting us more information about um, different price points about doing it differently. Um, the quick and easy answer is that we would make more money on plastic if we accepted just ones and twos. Okay. Um, there would not be a market for three through seven. That means three through seven goes in the trash, which, which adds not very much to the weight of trash, but volume, which adds to hauls. Right. Um, and then there's the values about how do our residents feel about throwing more stuff away than they're used to. Right. So, um, it is less, right now we're, right now we are paying to get rid of plastic. One and two has revenue. So we're going to have to look at the financial picture of different ways of doing these things and deciding, um, and, and maybe even having a public hearing about Good idea. how people want to handle that. Um, the other, there were a few takeaways from that meeting. Um, another is that we're very lucky to be in, I think, year three of a 10-year contract with waste management through the Lamprey Co-op. And we're paying approximately $68 a ton right now for MSW and Demo. Mm -hmm. Other communities are paying upwards of $120 a ton to dispose of wow. wet trash and Demo. So our contracted price is going up every year, but it's not going to be Nearly. anywhere near that. But we have to prepare for that. No, 
nonetheless for when this contract expires mm -hmm. and what can we do in the meantime. So a lot of communities are moving toward food waste composting because food is 30% of the weight of the weight of wet trash. Okay. So we're waiting for more information on that. It's not clear how much space you need for that and whether we have the space to accommodate that. We're having a space issue and I think it one of the things on the not too distant future um, list to consider is having a survey done of that property to determine what part of it is in conservation right. and what can we use for the transfer station mm -hmm. because we need space. Um, we're going to want space for composting but we also need space now to keep materials dry mm -hmm. um, and, and to we can make up we can make out better price wise if we can make a full load of a product rather than a few pellets of this and a few pellets of right. that. Okay. So um, we have to stay agile with the transfer station. But that was a really good meeting. Um, while there, I saw the highway department office, and I just wanted to encourage you all to go visit the office there and see what Ed and George have done there, because they stripped the whole place, and they built themselves a new workstation with a beautiful countertop and cabinets, and they did it all in-house, and it's a very different, really nice-looking professional space. It's really great. They've got skills. It's so they have really great. alleviated the issues um, that we had previously of water issues and they they alleviated the water running into the office, but they both have comfortable space where they can see each other, have phones, have their tablets there, and have working space. So they have space for like laying out plans and, and things like that. It's just it's much more functional. Very so good. that was really incredible. Good news for them. Um, I wanted to revisit with the board furniture. Um, it's going to be a conversation in the next few weeks. I got a couple of new to us office chairs, ergonomically correct um, office chairs for our new employee and um, another one for whoever would find good use of it. Um, but we're going to need to reconfigure the select board's office. And we, talked about that and one of the things I would like the board to consider is maybe having Ed and George build something that works there or modify, like maybe we can find a tabletop and they make a bottom or make drawers or, you know, they have volunteered their Giant abilities. surplus, maybe surplus desks. Are taking up a ton of space really that is. Right. I mean, useless. Is there anything in your desk, Denise? Like, I don't have anything um, in my desk. A couple of books on the top drawer, that's it. Yeah, I mean, my other side, it, of it's one of those, stuff uh, that you put up the typewriter yeah. stand or something. It's so useless. You can make a ton on those um, metal. Yes, they're going to be worth a yeah. lot in metal. Yeah. And when I say there's nothing important, it's just stuff that you didn't do what you want either. There's lots of yeah. Um And the fire department might want one of them. Sure. So one of those desks? Yes. Or both. Oh, I doubt it. Someone expressed interest. Really? So we'll see. I mean, I would want to vet that, you know, and you know, before we yeah. actually get rid of it. So, um, well, one of them is lighter than the other two. Okay, I always have a ton. Yes, <laughs> but still, there's something compelling here about free. We don't okay. Free. And if and we don't have a need for them, draw power to them. Another department can use them. Yeah. So. Um, stay tuned for that. Just let me get my junk out first. By all means. Um, lots of activity in the office with hiring people. We've got rec employees getting hired. Our bookkeeper came in and did all of his... Did you hire the, the bookkeeper he, last he week, right? He accepted it. He accepted awesome. it. Thank he signed you. all his paperwork. He came in. He got fingerprints. We had awesome. a nice conversation this morning. Good. Um, we've got a, a preliminary schedule worked out until he... Um, He's going to work longer on Mondays, and then he's going to split the rest of the time. He's going to work a full day on Monday, and then split the rest of the time between Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay. Um, and then once he passes his background check and we get him keys, um, he can start a little bit earlier in the morning. That makes him happy. Mm -hmm. So good. that was really good. Um, but a lot of activity with recreation payments, too, though. So, um, and I say that because it's one of the things that 
we, we need to talk about with the three to five year plan with recreation and maybe hiring somebody for a longer term than just the eight weeks in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, that there's a lot of administrative stuff associated with taking payments and keeping track of registrations and a lot of things that are on volunteers. But it's, it's in the office too and not just the volunteers. Um, the other piece of news I just wanted to update you about is that um, in talking to Tom Clark about the decision of the ZBA regarding Oak Street, it is apparent that while they did ask for a special exception to do the project they proposed, um, the project they proposed was combining two non-conforming lots to make a new, still non-conforming lot. Mm -hmm. However, because they're making a new lot, it now then does have to conform to zoning acreage and frontage requirements. So they're going to have to go back to look. so they're going to have to go back to ZBA to ask for a variance from the frontage and, and acreage requirements for their proposal. And they want to build a uh, duplex, is that my understanding? Which requires, requires three acres. Which requires fifty percent more frontage and acreage than a single family dwelling. So what was the exception they got? They were so any time any any non-conforming lot, um, any proposal for a non-conforming lot requires ZBA approval before anything happens. Mm -hmm. So they they were just going to say essentially, do you approve of this project in theory? You know, the special exception. So they got that, but that does not include a variance for zoning requirements. Um, merged what? And and so then because. They're merging the lot, they've lost the grandfathered status of the non conformity, well, the existing non conformity of those lots. They have to go back to planning board to merge their lot? So they're going to go back to ZBA to get the variance to do this, and then if if they get that, then, they, then the planning would take that action essentially. So they would have the permission through the zoning board, and then yeah. the planning board would take that action with them. So had they not gotten, not merged their lots, they would have been in a better shape. Um, they, they, would have, they would have had that grandfather mm -hmm. status. They would have the grandfather status, yes. Interesting. I'm glad I'm not on the ZBA. All right, anything else? No, I will not Review of correspondence. Order 1527, Janito's Landscaping, two cemetery mowings and trimmings, first and second mowing, for a total of 2680. Um, I'll second that. Purchase order 1527 has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? This is for the New Town Cemetery, for the two mowings. This, this is uh, the Falls within the budget. It's actually less than uh, what they used to pay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Still a lot of money, but it's still it's less, a little slightly less. It wasn't it like 27 or 28 before, wasn't it? Of the old company. Something like that. It was. It was actually, I thought, 1,300 dollars flat for a moment yeah. before with the last company. Oh, and they went at 40 dollars. Uh, well, but I don't know what the new proposal would have been with the last company. Uh, so maybe enough. that's cheaper than the new proposal would have been. But it wasn't. It was, they were in 40. Um, mm -hmm. that, um, mm -hmm. oh, so we're saving five dollars, and they're a local company. So all right. Any I think other? it's more about service. I think so too. That they change. Mark is yeah. very good about you know um, staying within its budget. So any other discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 aye opposed. All right. Um. Request for disbursement for Mike for twelve hundred dollars for his quarterly second. Should I sign that? I would appreciate it. Got <laughs> one. Make it note that I am. Uh, what did you say? Because I'm legal. I never did announce it. So my last day will be on July fifth. Um, I am informed by the town administrator that goes into a new quarter. Okay. So uh, she wanted to know if uh, she should prorate an extra week. And I said no. So the amount is just the, the quarter I was here. It's not but going into gonna, the next one. But if we're going to go, we have to pay it. Why can't we just put it in it? 
and then she doesn't have to cut your head off I don't well, want to no, no, say you keep it. I'll work for free for a week. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. I, I thought it was foolish. So, yeah. anyways. All right. So, all those in favor? No, you just have to sign it. I just have to sign it? Yes. Oh, we don't mm -hmm. have to vote on it? No. No, we get paid. Uh, what's today's date? The 10th. The 10th. Okay. I'm paying you. Thank you. All right. Purchase order 1640 for SHI computer and monitor for the highway department for 84820. So this is Hold a, on, wait. Yeah, a second. Let's okay. Now we can discuss it. Sorry. So um, this that is, wasn't in their rules, was it? Maybe, maybe it was. I don't know. But. It was not. It, um, this is not a budgeted expense, um, but it, it's something that they clearly need. They're working on old police tablets and they're not very functional, which is maybe why the police have different tablets, but they, um, the mouse moves and the keyboard, um, they're not very user friendly. They need a full keyboard and a, and a full screen. Um, so they're going to take that out of the highway equipment line. It's not budgeted in the IT line. And they have, so they can um, find it within their own budget. They have um, internet down there now too. They so. do. So the computers that we're replacing, based on their volume, can't be that much. Would not any of those computers work for them? You run into the same reason why we replaced them in the first place, which is that Windows 7 is no longer going to be supported. So you could do that for a few months, but then you're in the same situation where Windows 7 is not going to be supported after the end of January of 20. So then you've got a security risk, and so then you can either pay the bill to upgrade Windows 10, or you, which takes a good amount of time, or you can buy them a new computer. But it doesn't change. Um, so, so you could do it, but Tom LaBelle would offer you caution after January 1st. It would take some kind of action, either Tom's time or a replacement. Is it gonna be it's not going to be networked to us here, is it? No, but it's still on the internet. And it's still accessible. Like they still have Drive accounts, Google accounts. Okay. All right. Okay. You don't have to do it. I'm just. You, you know. You don't have to do it. I mean, there are all of the points you've brought up. Things are very. Are about well, points. I mean, get them until January and have them put it in the budget. I sort of, I, I agree with that. But. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much they're going to use it. Well, you, you can do that. The other side of that is that if you have money and you spend it, then you don't have to budget for it. And that can save you from an increase, you know, what would have been a higher increase, too. Okay. It goes, with, I mean, and, and that, there's no right or wrong to that. It's just different ways of... And we all know that things come up in the end of the year and the winter months and the end of the fall. You can also I mean, hold on to that and see how paving goes and how the rest of things go. I just don't know how much they would use I think use you it. should, personally, I think you should rescind your motion to move the move purchase, whatever the hell the number, heck the number is, 1640, and um, we put it back in the full wait till. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. I, I agree that we should look to reuse what we can and I'm, I'm interested to know how much they Well, it's just how much they would, they're going to do it, yeah. you know, and can you get one cheaper than $848? That's right, ask Carolina right Those, um, and to be clear, she didn't Because this is, from, this is from this is Tom Bell. It is yeah. the vendor that Tom right. recommends that we use that gives us government discounts. It's a static drive. It's a, it's a newer kind of um, drive than the old-fashioned kind of, that wigs up. So, Mm -hmm. um, so that's like what he's recommending. That's not to say that there aren't cheaper ones. But you can go to there. Staples and get a $400 laptop, like, yeah. right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Um, is it going to be state-of-the-art? No. But well, for what they're well, going to do, internet that and emails. Yeah. Well, and that's another thing. You know, I don't know how much storage capacity, you know, maybe there's something that's smaller. It doesn't have a lot of storage because he knows that we're mostly cloud-based. But I can talk to him about... Tom. Less ex Tom, about less expensive alternatives or whether or not there's a reason why we shouldn't just go buy it. So have, have the new ones come in yet? Yes, and they are, I believe, all up and running. Right, and we what? haven't gotten disposed of the old ones yet. No. So we can use the old one until well, it's not supported in January. By Sorry. then, at the, it'll be a new fiscal year. Oh, so let me back up. You two, before the year, the fiscal year is over, mm -hmm. 
you have mine over by the computer then. Right. And then it'll have the updated software that's actually supported. Yeah. I mean, but what about the monitors? monitors? We got new monitors for them as well. So would they be able to use at least the monitor part of it? Mm -hmm. I would hope. Okay. Can we check into that before we go ahead and authorize this? Because I, mean, I just yeah, think I that there might be some. Yeah. I don't know, but. It's in the quote, I think. Yeah. I know, yeah. Which is a much bigger monitor than the old ones that we have. Still, though. So, if we could save $180 on the monitor, I think we should probably do that. But well, if we have them here, what are we doing with them? If we're not going to get rid of them, they're going to in the landfill eventually. Or what? Monitors weren't the ones, wasn't the problem, right? It was the. That's not why we replaced them. Right. It was and the computers. And if you're going to buy it for them, the bigger, the better. Well, because of their day-to-day -day activities, they're on it all right. the time. We already got monitors for the front office, yeah. like a couple of them before we got new computers. Yeah. So because the monitors needed replacing anyway, so then the computers happened after the fact. But yes, they all have new monitors, and, and the other ones are still functional. They're a bit smaller. Mm -hmm. But we can certainly talk about it. I think it makes sense to wait until towards the end of the year and reassess them. Okay. I mean, if I let them have one of the, the old machines for the time being, yeah. and then, like I said, by the time you get towards the end of the year when it's not, the software is not supported any longer, mm -hmm. buy it then if you have the money. Mm -hmm. But we have seen in the highway department, and the fire department, and the police department, that things come up towards the end of the year, and yeah. sometimes we scramble, unless so the police, I guess, mm -hmm. but, and we, we should take from the police department, so, mm -hmm. we, you know, to, to make up the shortfall, so we should be careful there, but anyways. All right, so do we have other things? Okay, uh, um, purchase order 1622, Eliminator Systems in Lee for six 12-inch by 20-foot culverts for Sligo Road for a total of 828.48. I'll second that. Okay, so you'll recall George was in uh, several weeks ago to discuss the um, some of the cross culverts that he didn't want to replace for a number of reasons, mm -hmm. but the one that he was particularly concerned about was the one just before the box culvert, um, yeah, box culvert on Sligo, road by the old, um, uh, the red house with the stack coal residence. And um, he was waiting to hear back from the state. We're doing permitting uh, for some of the work we want to do down there. He has not heard back from the state. So George, even though he doesn't really want to have to do this, would prefer just to replace it the way it does, just that one cross over um, in that location so we can uh, get it done before the paving starts. Yeah. Paving starts. Mm -hmm. So I agree. I mean, I, he doesn't want to do it any more than I think we want to do it, but I think in this case we should do this one, well, there's six of them, but do this, um, these cross culverts there mm -hmm. and, and, and get it done. While the you know before the road is repaved and hack up a freshly paved road, which would be horrible. Is repaving starting tomorrow or reclaiming? Uh, reclaiming. Oh, okay, not the paving. Yeah, but that's sticking it all up, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But while it's open, the, yeah. no, that's when you do it. Yeah. So. Do it. <laughs> yep. So are we okay with this thing? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let them have one tonight. All right, maybe. All right. Any other discussion? All right, seeing that all those in favor of purchase order 1622 say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. All right. All right. Um, letter from Lorraine Hansen. Um, I don't know if you guys have already read this. This is the sheet. It went on social media. You got media, it by right? email. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is what you emailed us. Yes, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. We'll file okay. that. So we can file that. Um, have I you would send me the link? You know. Link for the for the minutes. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is a letter from you. And you can let you go ahead and. Oh, oh, to someone. Like <laughs> um. A compliance letter. Okay, so. Um, I'm just looking for the address. Okay, so there's apparently some non-permitted work going on at. Um, 575 Silver Street, so there's some excavation and construction going on there, so we need to send them a litter. So, 
That's what's up. The one that's up. sitting down in this garage? Something like that, yeah. Oh, I drove by that the other day. Is that what's going on? They're like it looks like they're putting a cement yeah, floor. Right. It was all dug out, but it looks like they're putting a cement floor in the garage. Wow. Well, they need to have uh, a building permit. So. Okay. Just put we had issued a couple a on that road, so I wasn't sure if that was one of them or not, but clearly it wasn't. So. Um, if you agree, so, I don't have Andrew to process. Oh, this is... We had that discussion last week. That's the, 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 the garage with the three build, buildings. So, this is it. I don't know if you feel as though you have enough information. There's a motion now with BTL. So, Chad filed a motion with BTLA that the case be dismissed, sent, um, given that it sold, not just that it sold, but the price at which it sold. Kind of made their claim moot. A bit moot, yes. So, um, nonetheless, he's agreed to this much of an abatement through mediation on those grounds. I asked your question to him. I did request that he come in, but he just responded with that email. I'm so, sorry, yeah. if you're if you're really wanting to talk with him, I will insist that he. Well, I went back. I went down to look at it just because I was trying to understand how. I mean. There is three different side, uh, roofs, you know, so is that what he means, that, that each section, one was higher than the other, and it just kind of looks like this? I, I don't... I went into it, the barn, the, yeah. the giant, well, I, I, I didn't know what it was, and I've been back for years, but they had an estate sale. Yeah. So I went into it. Yeah. And uh, I understand now, I mean, I, I understand what this, this letter now means. They are... They were three different buildings mm -hmm. that were sort of put together to make one building. So mm -hmm. I understand why they were assessing it the way they did. Having been in that building, I'm not sure. I, I think that, that, that the, the change that, that Chad is suggesting, the reduction in value of what's that, to, to over 36000 mm -hmm. um, is probably makes sense, actually. Why? Because it wasn't. Um, it wasn't all. It wasn't in the best shape. Let's just say that. It looked better from the outside okay. than okay. from the inside. To be honest with you, okay. especially walking upstairs, because um, there were. I can't remember. I think it was three levels. Yeah. Um, the the top level certainly wasn't. Very scary going in there. Okay. Didn't spend much was, time there. Wasn't that where he stored his cars? Downstairs. Downstairs. Okay. Yes. So it's to have three buildings, each with a door, would be more expensive than to build one building of the size of those three with three doors. Yeah. And, and that's what the software was, how they did not put that correctly into the software is what he's saying. Because it used to be three separate things. Three separate things and then they just put a cover over it and made it one building. Technically, right? I mean, they just... Or they it, moved them there, right? I think, I think they moved them way. there and modified. Yeah. yeah. They moved the buildings there? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. there's, there's the house, right? Yeah. And there's a giant carriage house behind it. Okay. And, and then, then, then they built this the giant, yeah, and then there's another building to the left of that that was like an auto garage of sorts, right? Was I that don't part remember of it? I'm trying to think that was that, that part of the one. building too. Okay. Oh, that was down I, closer to the river. It was like there behind, is one, something closer. That was behind this giant thing you could see from Silver Street. Okay. And then there was this giant thing you could see from Silver Street that wasn't always there and they brought three buildings in right and put them and made one. Oh. Yeah. I, it makes sense to me either. So, but going in, honestly, I mean, it, it makes it makes so much sense. I couldn't understand any of this. They were talking about the, the three buildings being put together. I was like, why? Well, you can tell the when I saw it, yeah. well, I just I didn't know if it was just like a quirky architecture or something. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, it, it was. I mean, the beautiful timbers and stuff inside. Uh huh. They were antique. But I mean, it was. You know, they were old, um, they were vintage barns that were put together. Mm -hmm. And this, it makes, 
I mean, I, I'm just one person. You guys okay. can both say no. I mean, I, but I, this makes more, I don't know if it's the answer, but it makes more sense to me. I mean, I'm just having seen it. But. I mean, yeah, you saw it. I, 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 Did you go into it? I mean, no, I, no, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, but I, I sort of I mean, there were, like, one level was amazing. And, you know, the ground floor was just the ground floor cement floor that was a garage. They had cars stored in it, but nothing special. The next floor was really cool with the timbers and everything. The next area after that was terrifying. <laughs> and, I mean, I, I don't know if you can even qu uh, classify or quantify it as usable space. I mean, I, to be honest, but I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay, fine with that. I just, so. yeah. I mean, his email explanation made sense to me. Yeah. Um, and this is sort of reaffirming. So, um, then I'll have... But I agree with them that, that they should be, I mean, it's a moot point on all the rest of it, though, based on the, the, yes. the price of sale. Clearly, yeah. And it's outlined there in, in the motion. Yeah. Yeah. And where is the, um, it's, where is it that it's sold? Okay. So it's sold for... $980,000. Well, you went down a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, we wanted 1.25 for sure. Yeah. I mean, and I don't think that, I mean, it's a beautiful old house, but I don't know if it's nice yeah. or it's all property that's worth it. Right? Um, yeah, the abatement value that they were suggesting was 686 and certainly well below what he sold it for. So I, I agree with, with, the, with Chad's assessment on that, and I think we should. So I'll ask Andrea to write the. Abatement. 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 So we can deal with it next week. Perfect. Okay. And um, one other thing, Comcast is sending us a letter saying that they did a routine account review and determined that Comcast business account is not being charged appropriately with one or more of your current services, therefore effective in the first billing statement received after June 5th. Your billing statement will reflect a monthly charge based on the current rate of the service your company is using. Deluxe 50 business internet for $109.95. TV box and remote $2.70. That's for this building. Downstairs has the TV and it's about $10 more a month. So why they have TV? A highway has TV too. Highway has it because of weather. It might also be because of weather downstairs, but it's okay. on, I think, almost all the time. I'm not really okay. sure what they use it for. So it's going to go up $2 or is it $2.70 for the TV box and remote? I just put those together and noted that it's approximately $10 more a month. Okay. But I don't recall seeing a rental fee on our current bill, that doesn't mean it's not there. So I'm not sure exactly where the where in the bill the increase is. Okay. All right. So but it's something to know where yeah. All right. Yeah. That's an FYI. So we were getting away with paying less. Okay. All right, that's all I got. And we have another folder. Where's the red folder? Are we good with it? It's okay if we're not I'm good with going to take all the guys who help it. We do have one more folder in this one. So while we're waiting for the other folder, any other, so we'll skip the community input. Any other community input? If not, we'll have one in non-public yep. session. Yes, sir, Mr. Dion. One quick question. Do we have any update on 114 Rollins Road and all the problems there? No, it's 112. 112. 112. Okay, 112. Sorry. I actually good. Sorry, the property that um, we've been dealing with for several years now. The one that doesn't even see the house anymore? Yeah, 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 yeah. They moved the truck from one side to the other side of the building. Really? I didn't notice that. <laughs> uh, the question that we're waiting uh, between and the red no, hole. nothing Perfect. in the red hole. So okay. we're doing community input. Charlie asked um, an update on 112 Rollins Road. Can we ask Mr. Um, uh, um, Clark? So he's going to come next week anyway, Mr. Clark. But um, he is going to, he's arranging a final inspection. I think he's about to get a letter signing off on everything, but he has to visit the backyard first. So. I noticed, I drove by twice today, actually, didn't even notice. I was just told that the truck that was up front had moved. moved to the side. But um, 
I'm I assuming I didn't notice. And have I didn't notice that, that um, there were any less unregistered vehicles out front. Are they all still? Probably? I knew Tom Clark was coming next week, so just want to give a heads up. So much. So overgrowth there. Trees. Maybe that's why I didn't notice the that. trees have taken over. Or, yeah, that, yeah. or maybe have Tom. I mean, uh, there was quite a bit of stuff out back. So mm. I don't know. Uh, quite a bit of stuff out. There's less stuff now, for sure, out front than there was, but. A lot I will of have stuff him assess back. and go visit before he comes to the court. That would be today. awesome. Any other community? Okay. Yes, Nancy. Uh, when you were talking about the building with the three um, barns, yes. he bought them, Dr. Bennett bought them separately and went out and they're antique. And put them together. And put them together. And the gentleman that's doing it now has gone through to planning already. To take them apart, right? Didn't I? Didn't we mm -hmm. He has to go to DBA for approval, but his proposal is to take the barns apart to use the um, old the timbers, timbers to beautiful. build <laughs> brand new old houses in energy efficient. That's new awesome. Old so the, the barns themselves on the inside, beautiful in you know, a frame, timber framework, but um, they were for sale. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. There were racks and racks and racks of. Um, other architectural salvage, is the best way to put it. Um, other old barn timbers included in that as well. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. Uh, mm -hmm. and I went like the last day of this estate, so I can only imagine what it looked like before that. But mm -hmm. there was a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's nice that at least they're going to do something with it. I just thought it was a modern garage. I never knew. Yeah, you too. He's got to get to you. Tell you when inside it was. And the other thing is, is I wanted to give kudos to your mom who was on the zoning, who brought up the exact facts of the two non-conforming lots being lot put together that they weren't meeting the, but she was voted down on it. So. Well, thank you for that. I wasn't there for that, but I'll pass it on to her. She will not be available to rehear the case. She's going on vacation. Which probably she makes her happy, actually. <laughs> she was not a happy camper when she uh, mm -mm. left that meeting. Anywho, but yeah, things happen. So, any other community input? All right. We are going to go into non-public session to deal with a personnel issue. And then we're going to go into non-public session to deal with welfare. And then we're going home. So folks are more than welcome to wait and mm -hmm. come back. If you like, there's not for... Them together? Yeah, no, they have to come out and come back in. Okay. Um, what was the first one? Personnel. 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 Yeah. I'll second that. So, a motion to go into non public session to deal with a personnel issue. We're going to move to a second and roll call, Denise. Yes. Miles? Yes. Mike, yes. We are in non public session to deal with a personnel issue.